What's up guys? It's Michael Cody Patrizzi from Blackwater Boogie and I am really excited today because I am here to finally unbox my Nashville banjo made here in the USA by hand for me. This is a one-of-a-kind Aries edition Nashville banjo with a black head on it and all walnut and I'll, along with their maple three rim technology they use in their heli mount design. Uh, I'll, just, I'll be talking a little bit more about that in just a moment. Uh, let's open this beauty up and see what she looks like. Very well packed. Oh man, wow. Let's move this box out of the way while we're at it. Alright, this case is extremely nice. And as I see and set it down here, it's completely molded for this Aries banjo, which is amazing. And I see it's got six latches, and it seems to be a very fine case, honestly. And let's see. Let's open this baby up. Wow. Oh my goodness. Now that is just gorgeous. That is a beautiful banjo. And wow, I love I love the comfort rest that they have on there. The tortoise tortoise shell binding, beautiful. The walnut body, gorgeous. Wow. And I love, along with the black head that they did personally for me, I love that they added the black hardware to fit that. Wow, that is just brilliant. Now, let me see. Ah, yes, the Nashville Heli Mount written directly on the head beautifully. Let's sit down with this baby see how this baby sounds after I tell you a little bit about how this banjo is made. See, uh, what makes a Nashville banjo so special is that they are made here in the USA by hand for each individual customer. I waited myself <laughs> for about six months for this banjo to finally come to me because they had to handcraft it themselves and they did everything to my specifications. They even added what are called banjo spikes, which many of you, you won't see on most of your gold tones, deerings, or any other high-end banjos because they've been put out of use, but they are very, very functional for your high G note. And that high G note is something that when you play with a capo, many times are in a different key than open G, you find yourself having a little bit of trouble with that drone note. Well, with these spikes, you're able to capo that one string starting at A and going to B flat, B, and C, which will let you go through all the keys that you need to play when capoed and or playing in other keys. Another amazing thing that I love about this banjo is after I got it tuned up and I put on the strap that I liked, I noticed that it had some of the best action that I've ever noticed on a banjo. And I attribute that to the fact that they have an adjustable neck and they made sure to adjust that perfectly to where this it just has the most reaction out of any banjo string that I've, any, I've ever played before. Let's see. coming out from when you pick it's very loud and very pronunciated when you pick 
and it's also very beautiful, bright, and resonant when you strum. All right, I'll do a little bit of Amazing Grace just to show you guys how well this thing really stays in intonation as well, all the way up the neck, better than any other banjo that I've played out of the eight that I own. <laughs> And I, I, I honestly, I love this banjo because of that. Let's see. And you see, even up to this fret here, the seventh fret, we have no issue with the tuning. Even on the twelfth, of course, like you'd want. Rings beautifully. And that's one thing that I truly love about this banjo as well. Uh, it makes it very fun for doing exercises like this, of course. And that is because, of course, it stays so well in tune, and when you're going down those kind of songs, you need those notes to stay in tune. Thanks, guys. I'm wanting to show you guys how this baby sounds electric, so let's hear her through an amp because she sounds beautiful. What's up, guys? Michael Cody Patrizzi back here in Simmons Creative Productions, where we're recording our newest album, The End of the Tunnel, Chapter 2, and this is where I'm going to show off how my new baby sounds. And I am running through my LR Bags DI. Um, I, I do have my bass kicked up just a little bit, but other than that, we're running pretty much just flat on the board. Coming out of a powered speaker, and uh, all right, I'll show you how it goes. <laughs> As you can see, a very bright and nice natural tone, and it's a very crisp tone, and although it does have a lot of warmth to it to go along with its brightness. Again, I'm going to do a little bit of Amazing Grace to show you guys how that'll sound. Honestly, is a wonderful feeling neck. As you go up it, you notice that it actually gets even more contoured to your hand as you go up the neck further and further, just to fit your hand perfectly for those minor chords and the bar chords that you're going to use on the banjo a lot of times, especially for a lot of the players that do a lot of strumming and not a lot of picking. Or the ones that like to pick. And do little four chord things like that. That's always fun too. Uh, you know, it, it, because those, for a starting out beginner banjo player, that would be great. 
but this honestly is made for the highest trained professionals on the banjo. So I am lucky to be touching what I would call one of God's greatest instruments. <laughs> um, I'm going to play one more quick song like I did before to show you how beautiful this thing sounds and we'll be out there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much. I am Michael Cody Patrizzi from Blackwater Boogie, and this is my new Nashville banjo, handmade in America. Thanks so much for checking it out, and make sure to subscribe, like, and comment below.